Welcome to Ms. Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Ms. Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about converting standard to vertex form with quadratics. So as a quick reminder, standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Vertex form of the same equation would be y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. I have a separate video on converting vertex to standard form and then I have a whole nother video where we just talk about vertex form in general. You definitely want to uh, go back and watch those videos if you're not already familiar with those concepts. But in this video we're just talking about converting standard to vertex form. So I've given you three different examples here that are in standard form and we need to put them in vertex form. I'm going to just show you a really quick easy shortcut to go from standard to vertex form. I've given you a quadratic here. First thing I need to know is what is the vertex of that quadratic? How can I quickly figure out the vertex on that? Well, we go to y equals and we type in what we've been given, x squared plus 4x minus 5. Okay, I want to look at the graph picture right there. So to find the vertex, I hit second trace and I have to ask myself, is it a minimum or a maximum? So let me look at the picture again. This is at the lower end of the graph. It's a U shape, so that means this is a minimum, okay? We'll look at another one in a minute that's a maximum. So second trace, minimum, three. And this little blinking spaceship shows up. So you want to, it says left bound. So we want to go a little bit, take it a little bit left of the vertex. So to about right there, lock it in. Now it says right bound. So now we want to take that and move it a little bit right of the vertex and lock that in. You'll see those two little triangles show up as you lock in each side and you hit enter. Okay, so the vertex here, it says negative 1.99999. We do round that up. So we would say the vertex is negative two comma negative nine. So our vertex is negative two comma negative nine. Once we know that, the rest is really easy. All you have to do is y equals, remember we're creating a vertex form. A is whatever the A is in the quadratic. That does not change. So in this case, it's just an understood one there. So it's an understood one right for A. Now I have my parentheses, x. Now we have our h. So our h, remember, is our x value of our vertex, but we flip the sign. So this is minus two, I need to make it plus two. End parenthesis squared, and then our plus k. So remember k is our y value. So in this case, and it is the true sign of what we see. So this is negative nine, so I put in minus nine. And then you can put the understood one out here, but it's not necessary, you don't need to, it's understood. So there you go, quick, simple way to go from standard form to vertex form. All you need to know is the vertex. Let's try another one. For this one, we've got x squared plus 4x minus 6. Well, I need to know first, what is the vertex? Okay, I'm going to use my graphing calculator to help me. Go ahead back into your y equals right here. Clear out what we had. And let's do x squared plus 4x minus 6. Okay, let's graph it. Let's see how it looks. So note that that is a minimum vertex we are looking for. It is at the lower end of the graph. It's a U-shaped. We want to go to second trace, minimum, 3. Your little spaceship will show up. We want to go left bound first. I always put it in center and then move it a little bit left, lock it in, back to center, and then a little bit right, lock it in, and hit enter. I see my vertex here is negative 2, negative 10. So given that information, that's all I need to know, I can now write 
my standard, um, my vertex form quadratic. Remember, A doesn't change. It's whatever A is in the original. So in this case, again, it's a positive 1. I don't need to write a 1 there, but you can if you want to see it. Parenthesis, X, and then we need our H. So in this case, it's a minus 2. Remember, H is our X value, and it is the opposite sign of what you're given in your vertex. Squared and then plus k. So in this case, it'd be minus 10. The y value is the exact same sign as you are given in the vertex. As a quick check, and I should have shown this on number one too, but we can quickly check ourselves to make sure we didn't make any kind of careless error by graphing these two equations, and they should be the exact same parabola. So let's just double check ourselves. x squared, I'm going to go to my y equals and type in x squared plus 4x minus 6. Go down to your second line and type in the vertex form, parenthesis x plus 2 squared minus 10. Now we're going to graph it, and if we've done it right, it should graph the same line twice. We should not be able to see any difference. Okay, see that it's done graphing, and we have the same line was graphed twice. So that's a way to quickly double check yourself. Let's look at this third example. So negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 1. Well, first thing we need to know is the vertex. Really, the only thing we need to know is the vertex. So let's go to our y equals, clear out what you had in there. Negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 1. Let's figure out what is our vertex here. Notice this time it's a upside down u. That means our vertex is a maximum, not a minimum. This time when we go to second trace, we're going to hit max 4. And notice my spaceship is already a little bit left bound already. So I can go ahead and lock that in, move to the center, move a little bit right bound, lock that in, and then it should tell us our vertex. Our vertex falls at, now this says 1.0000012. Okay, we would just round that to one, positive one, positive two. Now that I know my vertex, the rest is easy. I just fill it into this form. Y equals, remember A is whatever A is here. On the other two, it's just been an understood positive one, but here it is a negative three. So we just write negative three out front, parenthesis, x, my h is my opposite x value. So this is positive one, so I need a negative one, a minus one squared, plus k. So in this case, plus two. Here's one for you guys to try. So this is y equals x squared minus two x minus three. I want you to convert this from standard form to vertex form. And remember, your first step is you want to actually find the vertex and then go from there. I will post the answer in the video description below. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.